Hello, my name is Jorge Barrero, and on this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, V Ray for SketchUp materials and how they work within SketchUp. So, I'm going to start with the scene that I use for uh, showing the V Ray physical sky and sun. And uh, in this particular scene, when I look at my SketchUp materials and when I look at the in model materials, you can see there's no materials in the scene. Uh, if I render this, it renders pure white, or at least whatever the uh, the white default color it is. That's um, it's actually something important to note that the the default color is actually not pure white, and that becomes an issue uh, sometimes if you are trying to get uh, just the right light level. It has it actually has a slight yellow tint to it, but nonetheless, it's the default color. In the scene currently there's no other additional materials one of the things that's actually pretty useful within v-ray for sketchup currently is the materials are actually linked uh, automatically between the sketchup materials and the v-ray materials when i open the v-ray material editor you can see there's also no materials in the scene and when i add a material here I'm going to do that by right clicking on their scene materials and I'm going to select add material, add v-ray material. You can see there's a material there created default material and automatically added it to my SketchUp materials as well and you can see how they both are linked together. What I'm going to do at this point probably the easiest way to apply this material to my scene is using the paint bucket from SketchUp, so if I click on that default material, I can click on the chair. Now that turns the gray default material. I can rename it. We'll call it chair. And if I go back to my V-Ray materials, you can see the material name also changes. I can update my preview, and both of the materials are currently linked. When I hit render, you'll notice. Uh, frame buffer comes up here that uh, the material indeed will be will be gray. That's essentially the basics of applying materials. Now as I create more materials within SketchUp uh, they will simultaneously be added to my V-Ray material editor. And within each material, um, one of the things that uh, you can do is add additional layers for either emissive properties, so like self-illuminated materials, reflection layers, uh, or refraction layers. And we can um, add some of those um, to show you how it's done. I'm going to make that uh, chair a little bit reflective um, and the way to add reflection layers is by right clicking on the layer that you want to add and you will get a pop up that says add new layer when I click on that you can see it added the reflection category here and I can click on either the plus sign or the reflection tab here and you're gonna get some settings for reflection now a couple things to understand are one there is the capital M to the right of the color signifying that there's a map or some sort of uh, information that's going to change the type of reflection that we are getting and whether you want that or not it depends on what material you want by default it's a Fresnel reflection and you may want to turn it on or off depending on what we're doing for now I'm going to go let's say for a chrome type material which uh, indicate I don't need flex Fresnel reflection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the M. You can see Fresnel set by default. Instead of Fresnel, I'm going to select None. Hit Apply. And when I update my preview, you can see it's completely 100% reflective. And that's the second thing to understand within reflection. The color itself indicates how much reflection you're going to get, meaning white equals 100% reflection and black equals 
no reflection. So with a chrome material, I'm going to go with white, uh, given that it's almost like a mirror type material. I can close that uh, material editor, and now I'm going to hit render again to see the results. And here we go with the chrome material on the chair. You can see how it's reflecting the ground and it's reflecting the sky. Now, one of the things that's important to note, and as we zoom in here, you can see there's a little bit of uh, faceting going on in our geometry. And this has to do with uh, the geometry itself, but actually more importantly, whether the smoothing uh, in SketchUp is applied to the object or not, and whether that object is grouped or not. This particular chair, when I select it and I go to soften edges in SketchUp, there's actually no uh, softened applied to it. Well, there is, but the coplanar faces are not, and the um, the degree angles is not uh, increased at all either. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to soften the coplanar edges, and I'm also going to increase the angle between the normals here to get rid of some of those horizontals that were showing up, and. Um, Sometimes you may have to ungroup and then regroup the object to get this to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explode this and then I'm going to regroup it. And we'll see if that helped smooth out some of the faceting that I have in my model. There it is exploded. And I'm just going to regroup it. Re-render. And here it is. Uh, now you can see that after we did that operation, uh, the smoothing now is corrected. I don't see any faceting within my model. And uh, that may be a step with that, that you may have to take depending on whether you bring in models uh, imported or whether you create them here. So just uh, keep that as a, uh, as a small tip. So one of the last things I would recommend is when you're going to apply materials to your scene, uh, do a first pass using all the materials in SketchUp, which, and then you can go into V-Ray Material Editor and tweak those materials with the addition of layers, refraction, uh, reflection, emissive materials, etc.